Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. You know, people ask me all the time why it's so hard to be good in the world today. Uh, and some of you have even said, if God wants me to be good, he just needs to make me be good. Why doesn't God just make us to be good? And I always say that would turn us in to God's little puppets. And we all love hand puppets. This one is called Molly. Molly's been in my life for <laughs> a long, long time. Molly uh, has been to nursing homes and hospice facilities, and she's very, very shy. Uh, and uh, Molly has been a wonderful assistant for me, doing exactly what I make her to do with my fingers. Uh, and you know how children love to play with hand puppets, but how exciting is it to play with hand puppets when you have a puppy to play with? Well, let's just see. Come here, I've got a very sleepy little gir girl who came in to our life yesterday. This is either Dahlia or Dot. <laughs> she's a rescued puppy and she's absolutely exhausted now because I took her out in the backyard and she ran like a wild banshee for about 10 minutes. So she's very sleepy. Uh, she's uh, two months and two weeks old. I believe she was born on uh, March the uh, 21st of this year. So she's just a very little puppy, already weighs 15 pounds. You, you can sort of tell when she looks at you this way that she's uh, a mix. She's uh, probably uh, a, a golden lab uh, crossed with a uh, retriever of some sort. Uh, she'll be probably 60 pounds when she's fully grown. Uh, and if you've been following me at all, you know that uh, uh, it's been a year and a half since uh, we lost our 14-year-old golden retriever, uh, Amos. And this is either Dot or Dahlia. <laughs> uh, uh, they, were, they were from the same litter, and we, this is a rescue puppy. We truly enjoy helping uh, puppies avoid being euthanized. Uh, so we, we took uh, Dot, I brought her home yesterday, and she's much more entertaining than my little hand puppet. As a matter of fact, she will probably play with the hand puppet herself. She enjoys chewing things and running. Uh, and, you know, God created us not to be his puppets, uh, but to be his precious little puppies. We are lovable, we're huggable, uh, and we sometimes wet the carpet. And I'm learning all sorts of new and old lessons of humility by cleaning up accidents in the house. Uh, a little two-month-old uh, puppy is um, she's pretty big for two months. She loves uh, loves attention. Uh, had a little difficult time last night. She doesn't like her crate. Uh, she already says she prefers, prefers sleeping on the bed, uh, which is creating some issues with our old 14-year-old uh, cat. So uh, God created you to be His little puppy. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard for us to be good? Well, because we are broken individuals. You know, we live in a broken world where there's all sorts of uh, temptations that the evil one brings to us, that the world brings to us, that our flesh brings to us, and we mess up a lot. Uh, but God loves us. And you know what? Just like with little Dahlia or Dot, I think we're gonna call her Dot. That's easier to call a dog named Dot than it is a dog named Dahlia, although I really love the name Dahlia. Um, actually, I thought I was uh, adopting Dahlia yesterday, uh, but at the end, Dahlia was actually uh, adopted Saturday. And so uh, this was actually Dot. They just uh, got them uh, mixed up a little bit. Now, she's going to be probably destroying my little hand puppet. And uh, you can see she's got a precious little face. She's got a very mild bark. Uh, she's very alert. She's very hyper. And she absolutely thrives on attention. She's sort of like I am and like we are. God has made us to be his little puppies too. And remember that he loves us. He cares for us. And sometimes we simply have to take emergency naps in the middle of the day 
And um, I second that emotion. I have to myself sometimes. I hope you have a blessed day today as we start this new week. Uh, this is the feast day of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to her, her elderly cousin Elizabeth in the hill country of Nazareth. Uh, this is the fulfillment of Isaiah's uh, prophecy in Isaiah 60 where uh, God speaks. Kumi ori kivai orak, huke vod adonai aleik zarak. Arise, shine, for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Have a blessed day today and God willing, if I survive another night, although she's very sleepy now, I will see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.